Ever wondered how opposing forces could coexist in harmony, creating a perfectly balanced world? This thought-provoking question brings us to the doorstep of the ancient Chinese philosophy of yin-yang. Originating thousands of years ago, yin-yang presents an intriguing perspective on the nature of existence. It suggests that the world is composed of two opposing yet complementary forces. Imagine a realm where light and dark, day and night, joy and sorrow are not isolated entities, but partners in a cosmic dance. Yin Yang encapsulates this dance of duality, showing us that these forces are not static, but in a perpetual state of flux, influencing and balancing each other. This dynamic interplay creates the natural order of the universe, the rhythm of life itself. So, in essence, Yin Yang is the philosophy of dualism, where two opposite forces continuously interact and balance each other out. We'll explore the individual aspects of yin and yang in our next segment. Now let's delve a bit deeper. What exactly are these forces known as yin and yang? Imagine the universe's energy as a vast swirling mix of light and dark. Yin, the dark element, represents passive inward energy. It's often associated with the moon, embodying femininity and the fluidity of water. On the other side, we have yang, the bright element. It symbolizes active outward energy. It's associated with the sun, embodying masculinity and the intensity of fire. However, it's crucial to remember that neither yin nor yang is superior to the other. They are not enemies locked in eternal combat. Instead, they are partners in a cosmic dance, each one balancing the other's energy. They are two halves of a whole, each containing a bit of the other within themselves, reflecting the interconnectedness of all things in the universe. Thus, yin and yang are not opposing forces, but complementary pairs, each holding a bit of the other within themselves. So how does this ancient philosophy of yin-yang influence our lives today? You may ask. Well, the answer is more pervasive than you might think. The yin-yang philosophy isn't merely about good versus evil. It's about balance, harmony. It's a guiding principle that can assist us in navigating our day-to-day -day lives. Take, for example, our work-life balance. The active, dynamic nature of work can be associated with yang, while the passive, restorative nature of rest can be seen as yin. Both are necessary for a balanced, fulfilling life, and the influence of yin-yang extends beyond personal lifestyle. It forms the bedrock of Chinese medicine where the balance of yin and yang is thought to determine health and disease. It guides martial arts, fostering a balance between strength and fluidity. Even in feng shui, the art of arranging our environment, the principles of yin and yang are at play, aiming for a harmonious balance of energies. Therefore, the yin-yang philosophy in its simplest form is about finding the right balance. So, what can we take away from the philosophy of yin-yang? Let's distill it down to its essence. Yin-yang is more than just two contrasting forces. It's a manifestation of the dynamic interplay that exists everywhere in every aspect of our lives. But remember, it's not about conflict or opposition. It's about balance and harmony, the ebb and flow of life. Take a moment to reflect. Where in your life could you use more balance? Is there an area where one force is overpowering the other? Yin-yang philosophy nudges us to strive for equilibrium, to balance the hustle with rest, the joy with sorrow, the chaos with order. Understanding yin-yang can help us better comprehend the world and our place within it. It's a lens through which we can view the complexities of existence, a compass guiding us towards harmony. Remember, life isn't about choosing between yin or yang, but about finding the harmony that exists between them.